So to start this exercise, you're going to need a band. This is a long band so that I can have one side in one arm and one side in the other arm. It's going to go underneath your feet that are on the wall. I'm in that nice little position where I have about a 90 degree angle here at my hips. And then I also have a little bit more than a 90 degree angle here at my knees so that I can see my toes a little bit. You're going to go ahead and put the band underneath your feet to hold that in place. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm pushing into the wall at about like 20 to 30% of what I could possibly do. But I want to make sure that I'm pushing in through the inside of the heel, the inside of the big toe, making sure all that's on the wall. As I do this, I feel my hamstrings kick in. I feel the backs of my glutes kick in. And I also now I'm going to go ahead and do my little bit of a pelvic tilt where I push the back flat and give myself a slight little rib cage tuck. Now, if you're doing this exercise, you're feeling the inner thighs kick in. When the inner thighs kick in a little bit more in the backs of the legs, you're going to feel the abs want to contract more. And that's the reason we're doing this all together. The reason we have the band is we're going to do some biceps curls with this. Now, when we do the biceps curl, we want to make sure that that shoulder blade is set back. So we're going to get our shoulder blades back and down and hold that position. Now, that's going to change the position of your rib cage a little bit, but that's okay. So we're just going to kind of do a little bit more of a pelvic tilt to compensate. So let's start over again. We're going to go ahead and make sure that our we're pushing into the wall 20 to 40%. Make sure the weight's going through the inside of the uh, each foot. Now, as I push down into the wall, I'm also making sure I give myself a pelvic tilt, little rib cage tuck. Shoulder blades are good back and down and set. And then I'm just going to pull up and down just like a normal biceps curl. The only thing moving are my forearms. Everything else is still contracted. I'm feeling my abs kick in. I'm feeling my glutes kick in, my inner thighs as I do this. And then I'm going to relax. Now to do the second set again, we're going to go ahead and push into the wall. We're going to do our pelvic tilt. Rib cage tuck, shoulder blades back and down and set. And then we're going to bring forward and back, getting our biceps working. And then relax. 